Welcome back everybody. Gonna be playing a game called Enter the Gungeon. Look, I know it's an old game, but I just want to give it a fair shot. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, uh, critically acclaimed. It's been a lot of other content creators that have made plenty of content for it, but you know, I haven't, so I want to give it a quick run through you know see how I do give it a couple plays and uh, I don't see myself doing too hot on the first run or two but you know just, just gonna do my best you know need to adjust my seat here all right I think we're ready to go. We're gonna be playing as the Marine. So right click's the roll dodge. Left click is the shoot. Space bar is to use your temporary item. R to reload. And E to use items or interact with objects. All right, let's get right into the business here. No messing around. So have you guys heard of uh heard anything about the uh the crypto scandal that's happening right now? Uh the CoffeeZilla put a video about it. It's called Celsius Coin, and it was it was trying to be like a bank, but for cryptocurrency, and it's it's just like completely run itself into the dirt. Yeah, it's I mean, just hilarious. What's uh what's been going on in the crypto space right now? I don't know a whole lot, but uh. Happy to uh, not have lost too much money in that market. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. And uh, you gotta diversify, you know, in today's market. Gotta diversify. Alright, a blue chest. It's not too bad. Just save it for now. So, one thing you can do in this is not open your chest and then later when you fight the boss it's called gun forcing where you force him to spawn a new weapon for you and uh, it guarantees a weapon I'm, so one thing I'm not sure about is how rare the weapon is or you know what kind of guns it forces but I would imagine they're, they gotta be halfway decent that's what most of the most of the higher level players of this game do, they gun force on the first level. Ooh. That was just close. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I guess, see, I don't know if that, if that cancels out the gun force that could happen later or not. Ooh. Oh my. Alright. Alright, I would say we're doing pretty good. Haven't been hit by any stray bullets here. Oh, oh that's just that's just terrible. Ah, couldn't have handled that worse. So I think one thing this game does really well is that it's definitely not not easy at all. Um, the game I played here on this channel called uh, 20 Seconds Till Dawn, 
That game is, once you get, like, you know, your build and your skill tree to tech into, I mean, the game becomes quintessentially just easy. You know, you definitely don't want a roguelike to just be too easy. Get away. Get away. Okay, we have no ammo. To replenish here, what we're gonna do is go over here. We're gonna go back into this room. And we're gonna come right back. And hopefully the rat tries to steal my ammo. We'll stop it from happening. Oh, he took it. And he left a note. What a cheeky chap. Thanks for the ammo spread. Dope. Why would he say dope? How cringe is that? Alright, well. Kind of dropped the ball on that one. There's the boss fight. I think I feel a little more confident in finishing this floor before we go into the boss fight. Oh my, oh my. Help, help. <laughs> oh. Wow. I definitely clinched up there a little bit. Hundred and eleven casings, which are the currency in this game. C4 Mega Dowser. Um I don't really know anything about that weapon, but I don't want to buy any weapons if I don't have to. fairly well here. Now that it's a green chest. I think we're just going to open it. Okay, it's a gun. Jolter. 90.95 caliber. <clears throat> so if I could uh, guess, that gun is going to be specifically good at killing bosses. I'm going to assume that it has pretty high damage. So we're just going to open this chest too. What is this? Medkit heals. What we're gonna do is, I know we didn't really use a whole lot of this ammo. We're gonna call in the ammo, pick the medkit back up, and uh, replenish what we took of that. <clears throat> All right, time to try and face the boss. I I don't feel really confident about this, but we're gonna. Give it our best shot. Try not to get hit. If you can flawless the boss without taking damage, you get an extra heart for your next run, for your next floor. And, uh, you know, that would really help me out going forward. So I just have to stay calm, do some smart dodges. I'm just gonna blank that, get that taken care of. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're gonna blank again. And we somehow got back to our starting weapon. And that's it. We got hit, so no shot of us getting an extra heart. But that's to be expected when you're the, as new as I am to this game. We're taking three hearts of damage here. And we reluctantly took the boss down. I'm gonna say that this this run isn't prob it probably isn't gonna go past floor two. And uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna do my best on the next floor here. What is this? A barrel. It shoots fish. Huh. We're gonna use this to try and clear the floor on the next floor. 
Um, so usually, you would separate guns into two categories. There's guns that clear the floor, and then there's guns that kill the bosses. So a higher damage gun, obviously, is going to be a boss killer. And then like a spread fire or like multi-target gun is going to gonna clear the floor. Oh, I hate this enemy. Okay, use the blank there. I don't feel good about that, but uh, that's okay. Shooting them fish at him. So I don't really think this gun is gonna treat me that well. <laughs> but you know, I'm just gonna try and use up as much ammo for it as I can while the floor is still easy. <clears throat> and we're gonna switch to a different gun. Yeah, so the mech kit just gives you a, a heart. Okay, so this gun does stun on the first hit, which is kind of interesting. I wonder what the criteria is for stunning with this gun. Look at all these fish. Something smells a little off here. Let's go see what the shop has to offer us. What is this? Portable table device? Don't really want it. Ammo belt? Kind of self-explanatory. What is this? Prime Primer. We're gonna take that and just see what it is. Um, so we can check this book here to see what the items do. Released when the bullet struck. So I guess this uses blanks. Oh, if I could assume, it's gonna use a blank when I get hit automatically. Um, which I mean, it's not a, it's not a terrible thing. Save that for later. So one game I really want to finish is Elden Ring. I haven't beaten it yet. And I would really like to finish it, but it's definitely a hard game to play on, sh on st stream because it takes a lot of focus to, you know, especially in the boss fights or the tankier enemies that take more damage. It's hard to focus and talk and you know, keep the conversation going. But we'll see, you know, I might might give it a shot on stream in the future. gun and randomly has a chance to stun. Oh, close. Don't even waste the ammo on those. The little bats just, uh, when they die, they just shoot a random bullet out into the void. 109 cases. 
Help. Someone, someone help. 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 So the piercing is cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, I recently went to California for the 4th of July, which is what, a week ago now? And, uh, when I came back, I had jet lag pretty bad. And, uh, I remember in school learning that when sailors used to, to sail across oceans and stuff, when they would get back, it would be, like, real fresh, like, like they had never left. Or had never traveled. Um, and I think this is, this is due to the fact that we usually fly places in a couple of hours. Like it took me five hours to fly to California in a direct flight because I live on the East coast and that's the West coast. So, oh, this gun sucks too, I think. Oh, well. So yeah, it took me five hours to fly there pretty jet lagged and yeah sailors when they used to you know sail to other continents you know they would be out the sea for like you know two to three weeks depending on which which ocean they were crossing so the whole time zone lag probably wasn't an, wasn't an issue there. Um, I guess that's to be expected it's kind of like self-explanatory but just uh, just sucks having jet lag and just feeling so out of it. When you get back, it's hard to stay motivated. All right, that was an easy room. Make the jump. Gun muncher, I have nothing for you, buddy. See if something's at the altar. Oh, I think I know what goes there. I think you get an old crest. Um, but I'm not really sure about that altar. I don't know, I'll have to look it up later. That was just a stressful room. We're gonna get some ammo for... I like this gun better than the fish gun. That... Uh, it looks like it fills all the guns partially. That's good. We definitely need more in our .95 caliber gun. Green chest. I don't think the shop has another key. It does. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. But we can still afford the key. I don't think we're going to do too well against this next boss, so... Infuriating note, you've been had. Son of a gun. Yeah, so we're going to, uh... You know, give it our best shot here in the boss room. I think we're going to go with the .95 caliber. Jolter and uh, see how it goes here. Who is this? Snake. Emoconda, the shell serpent. Yeah, I can't see me doing too well against this fight. I don't know the patterns or anything. Blank, get homing bullets out. Oh, there goes our first bit of damage. Here goes our second. Oh, whoa! Of course, we get hit by the bullet coming from the other direction. I was not paying attention. 
We have no blanks left. That sucks. We only have three hearts. Ah! Help! Help! Oh! Anyone help me? Help me. Help. Help. Oh, we did it. One heart left. That just feels like... You know, the old saying, the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. I don't know what this telescope is, but I'm going to say that it's probably not going to save the run. What is it? Scope. Steady aim. 360, yes, scope. Hey, that's an elite sniper if I've ever seen one. wonder what that does for the sniper rifle. Oh! No way, I just figured it out just by whipping. No way. That's what it does? It empowers you when you 360? <laughs> 360 no scopes, anybody? You got some help in here? One half. One half. One half. I'll take it. Alright. Let's head on down to the next floor. Again. I don't think this run's gonna go past this floor, but you know, hey, we said this about the last floor, so you know, I could surprise everybody in the comments here, but uh, just don't get your hopes up, you know? And of course, the first room is a puzzle room. I'm not very good at these. Okay, and proof is in the pudding right there. I just jumped off the edge. Not a care in the world. Oh. That just makes me nervous. That's just disorienting, isn't it? I'm kinda liking this gun though. Wow, uh, that just makes me a little bit like motion sick there, not gonna lie to you. All right, pretty successful room there. Sorry for the radio silence, guys. I'm not gonna lie. When I'm uh, when I'm spinning it, when I'm ripping it to rip it, I uh, I cannot focus. You know, all of my attention is going into landing that shot. What is that? That scared me. What was up with that guy? So, uh, anybody else say? Uh, an offspring of like, when I was in high school, Halo 2 was the game to play online. You know, you would get online with all your buddies and you would just play big team battle until the sun came up and then you would try and go to school the next day and you'd usually not make it to school. I mean, good times, good times, but uh, I miss, I miss that a little bit, you know, playing playing games with other people, you know? I feel like one thing, one thing that the gaming industry is lacking now is like dedicated open comms where you can just join a game, join somebody's, you know, vocal party, or just have a vocal party when you join the game that everyone is, is subject to, you know, you can mute everybody or you know, you can have the option to have radio silence when you join the, the lobby, but, you know, you should be able to talk to your teammates and other other players while you're playing most games. Yeah, I don't know what this room is. Uh, I've never seen this before in my life. Uh, I 
I'm not sure if I really want what it's offering me. It's not the, again, we're gonna refer back to the saying, the old juice isn't worth the squeeze here. We're gonna move on. We're gonna keep it in them 360 no scopes. I'll tell you what, back in my day, we used to hit a BXR on a full real quick. shop today we got a regular shotgun who in their right mind would buy that armor a key so it is a green chest which I think are the second best chests I'm not positive on that one. Oh, I think I got really lucky there Ah, uh, how could you do this to me? Give me that key. I'll take that. And on to the next one. Uh-oh. Cannot see this ending well. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, I actually killed him pretty quick. We're just going to use the rest of the ammo up in this sniper rifle here. Empty. How far does a barrel gun shoot? Uh-oh. We're in trouble here. Okay. Oh, that was just a little bit stressful. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I've, lo I've completely lost my touch here. And just talking about it's not helping me. Alright. Well, as unsuccessful as that last floor was, I gained some experience. Fought the Ammo Am Conda. And I feel like I did pretty well for the first floor, <clears throat> which is, you know, a feat in itself, especially when you're brand new to a roguelite like this. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun, though. I'm, I think I'm liking this game a lot. I think I'm going to give it, a, you know, a, 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 girl, a good thorough playthrough, and we'll see where things lead. All right. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, I'm out.